Hello, viewers of all over the world. My name is Euclid Ferrao and I come from Mozambique. And she is my fiance. And um, she, eh? she goes by the name of Bruna Nyabange. So what made me come here was uh, sickness and a little bit of stagnation. And also um, from, from my family side, the health issues of my family. Uh, I wanted to I wanted to get some clarification about uh, certain issues of my life. So in terms of sickness, uh, I realized I had the same disease uh, as my mother's disease. So she was sick of stomach stomach problems, and I realized I have the same issue as her. And um, from the uh, stagnation side, it was in marriage. We wanted to get married. We li we are, like we have been talking about marriage for some time now. And um, as time goes by, nothing is is happening. So that's why I came here. So in terms of stagnation, um, wait, let me think. It's you know, man is the last thing. Because the first thing is the whole ceremony. Yeah, so in terms of stagnation, marriage stagnation, uh, um, we spoke to our families, they agreed, and um, but things happened along the way that made us delay our wedding for like, for like eight months. So, um, but we believe God that since Prophet Andrew prayed for us today, we are free and we are free to get married next year. So I'm here for the first time. He came here alone and Papa told him to bring me with him. That's why I'm here. And I was also facing uh, some problems with my health and with fa familiar patterns that I had. So, but I believe that now I'm free from the disease and from the familiar patterns that I was having. In my family, we had problems with uh, marriage, uh, career, finances, mm, witchcraft, uh, a lot of problems. From my mother's side, and most of them, from my mother's side, but from my father's side also. And uh, I was facing this the same issues and that's where I noticed that is it was a spiritual thing. I had problems with studying. I couldn't stud, study where I wanted to stud, study initially. I wanted to study in China but because of the health issues, I wasn't able to do that. Uh, in my relationship, we argued a lot. <laughs> yes, and we were having problems to get married. Yes, it affected me a lot because I was thinking about suicide and that we we're not meant to be together. And I was sad, very sad, very sad. First thing the man of God told me was, uh, had to do with my health issues. He, he told me that I had problems uh, that had to do with fibroids. I think, uh, but I was experiencing very harsh uh, cramps and my cycle was very uh, irregular. So he said that I had the pr same problem as my mother and he declared that we are both healed even though she's not here uh, and he, yes. He also talked about job because right now I'm very worried about working, but I'm still studying. So 
he told me to slow down and to study for now and then I will work to help my family and all of that. I feel relieved. I feel happy. This is what I wanted for a long time. And now I feel that things will work for our good now. But today we got the opportunity to see the man of God. And the first thing he said to me was the issue of church. He asked me if I was going to any church for now. And I said, no, I'm just visiting churches in Mozambique. Uh, because I'm, I visit them, but I don't feel that I belong there. So he said uh, that I should pray because I have a gift. And he he prayed also that God would that would establish my gift. And he also mentioned about me starting a church, a ministry. But he said I should pray for like months before God speaks anything to me. So it, okay, yeah. The second uh, so thing he said to me was about health. And not only me, but my mother and my father because he was seeing health issues and um, he prayed for me and he, he said that n not only me but also my parents will also be healed so I believe we are all healed yeah. the third thing was business he said that I should try also applying for government contracts and um, that's and that she should allow me to apply for it <laughs> and uh, I and I will definitely begin to apply for government institution and inst government institutions and banks in my at yeah. home. And the last thing the man of God spoke to me was dreams. He says he said I dream a lot and most of the things I dream about happens. In, and he I confirmed it. It is true. I dream a lot. And also, through dreams, I receive attacks also. And um, these attacks was just, uh, were just meant to slow me down, to delay my life in, in ministry and in business. But uh, today, he prayed for me, he anointed me, and I believe no more delay and no more attacks. Come on! Come on! Thank you, Holy Spirit, for healing my sister. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Thank you, Lord, for healing this woman. Come on. Jesus, amen. 